Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And yeah, I believe you hear that marathon is coming or battle battle pass extra chapters, uh, extravaganza, the judgments day, however you would call this. But there is one plot twist which I really want to talk about, and this is a good one. Fellas, um, where gaming can call it a battle pass, where gaming can call it marathon, where gaming can call it uh, however they want to, it is a marathon. Okay, let's get real. You have a limited amount of the time uh, to play the game and to get the tank. As an example, Pay attention at this. That was uh, a very simple situation how the things were looking like back in the day. Do you remember Shrek Battle Pass Bonus Chapter Marathon? We are speaking about the base rewards over there. So what do we have? The free-to-play players used to get the tank, four days of premium, 700,000 credits, some boosters, ramers and whatnot, some of the bonds. And after that, if you are willing to pay um, for everything, right, you are going to get yourself some extra credits, some uh, uh, credit boosters, some extra bonds and whatnot. <laughs> you know what Wargaming did this time? <laughs> I mean, Wargaming is keep surprising me. <laughs> oh, my bananas. Okay, hear me out. Uh, the base rewards are not including the premium tank. <laughs> hear me out, fellas. Uh, if free-to-play uh, if free to play players could get before um premium tank for themselves for example shrek or whatever else tank we had uh, uh, as a marathon vehicle this time you cannot do that uh, pay attention at this base rewards you are getting to the skin you are getting some credits some boosters some premium days uh thousand bonds which is nice um bounty equipment it's also nice, some decals, which most of the people probably won't use, and you are getting a couple of the commanders. That's it. That's all you are getting. That's it. Game over, fellas. Game over. Now, if you are a free-to-play player and you don't have a gold, I have a bad news for you. You can, you know... This is, this is mental, fellas. Now look, if you are buying the things for, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be maybe 2,000, maybe 3,000 gold, doesn't really matter. It's not the point. If you are buying improved battle pass, then you are getting more premium days, some credits, some free experience, some uh, personal credit boosters, right? um, some personal reserves overall, and most importantly, tank. This T832 is pretty much uh, T32. We are going to talk about this very, very soon. But fellas, I really want to highlight this thing. Uh, World of Tanks greediness is going to the next level. Uh, that's it. We have marathons where people are not getting the premium tanks if they are not willing to open their wallet. This is ridiculous. So one more thing, which is very important thing to say. I know for many of you, it is not going to be a problem if you bought loot boxes, you have plenty of gold and it is, uh, I, I have no doubts whatsoever you will be able to um, pay this 2000. I know for some of you might not look uh, like a big problem, right? I am speaking about those players who wants to play in the budget way and who are free to play players. This is the biggest problem. And there is plenty of the tanks which have been on sale as well, right? No one is complaining about this. No one is crying about this. The mo most important point is uh, free-to-play players are not going to be part of the marathon to get the tank for themselves. This is the thing. It happened for a very first time, which is absolutely insanity. So... Obviously, Wargaming will try to sink as much stuff from uh, you uh, as possible, speaking about the uh, loot boxes, right? Loot boxes are pretty much coming to an end. You have shit on of the gold, so obviously Wargaming will try to take it from you. And one of the ways how Wargaming will try to do this, obviously, uh, you will need to complete the marathon and you will need to pay for uh, like the third uh, of the price for a tank. Now, this is quite funny thing, but obviously awards are actually worth it fellas so don't look at this in this way rewards are still worth it right uh, plus on top of that you are going to be able to get the four commanders 
uh, John Connor, T-800, Sarah Connor, and T-1000. To be completely honest with you, I'm not really familiar with this judgment uh, uh, day. I know uh, there was Arnie who was, uh, who was acting there. That's all I know, and this is an old movie, and I cannot remember it, right? I, I'm pretty sure I have seen it, but, you know, I have a blank now. Anyways, uh, there is they have a special voice lines, and you tell me how, how do they sound. is rattling. Dynamics are low. The radio operator is hit. They need help. Those were hot greetings from Sarah Connor. Fire! As if we haven't got enough to do. It will be impossible to penetrate at that angle. So as you can see, they have unique voice lines. So for a positive note, uh, for free-to-play players, is you are going to get a couple of the commanders, right? So this is this is a uh, hip hip hooray. Now. If you want to unlock everything, you will need to buy some more stuff. I know it's getting better and better. Now, if you want to get this girl commander or Skynet fighter, you will need to pay uh, 5,000 gold in order to get the commander, in order to get personal boosters uh, and 2D style, right? Uh, now, if you will want to get this uh, T-1000 guy or however he is called, Commander uh, T-1000, you will need to pay 3,000. Uh, uh, you will need to pay 3,000 gold to get 500 bonds, uh, some crew books, and missions for 25x experience. So it's not like you are going to get the content that easy. You will still need to pay for it. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. Fellas, it's funny for me. At this point, it is just simply funny. You know, I have absolutely nothing to say about this. This is just getting ridiculous and it is getting out of hand. Do I think it's worth it? Well, it's up to you. Do you want to get Commander or not? It's literally up to you, right? So once again, I really want to highlight the most important part of all this. Marathon before, uh, the same battle pass thing before we had 40 stages, now we have 50 stages, right? Uh, how the things are looking like, you used to get the free premium tank, well, if you are completing the things, if you are a dedicated player and you are getting some other stuff. Uh, if you are willing to pay, you are getting the 3D style and you are getting some additives. Nowadays, if you are a free-to-play player, you are getting 700,000 credits, you are getting some bonds, you are getting bounty aiming, and you are getting two commanders, and if you are willing to pay, you are going to get the tank, some credit boosters, and some premium days. Absolutely ridiculous, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, feel free to leave your comment uh, down below. What do you think about this? And... Do I see the things in the same way as you do? I am very, very curious. This is the first thing and the first uh, uh, part of all this, right? So whenever we are done with this. Now, second thing, what the flying F is this new tank? How does it look like? It is pretty much T-32M. It is going uh, to have the different skin and call differently, but pretty much from what we know, it is going to be a very similar tank to T32. So it has T32 shape. It has lower DPM pretty much, but it is a bit more, not a bit more accurate, way more accurate. That's it. That is pretty much the whole difference of all this. Once again, same T32 with a lower DPM and a bit more accurate. And in the Christmas boxes, we had buzzer, buzzer. So, you know, uh, on the positive note for uh, free-to-play players, you are not missing out that much on the tank. Obviously, I haven't played with a vehicle yet, right? Um, and I do not know, will the tank be so epic or so amazing or, or the best tank ever, right? I do not know this, but this is very, very important thing overall to highlight. Now... Speaking overall, how hard it is going to be to complete this uh, battle pass. Uh, because believe me or not, battle pass is not going to be that hard to complete, especially whenever you have your strategy. Okay, so what do you need to do in order to complete this marathon? First of all, 
a marathon is going to require from you 2,500 points. And now the question is how you are getting points. So the answer is quite simple. It works same like battle pass. You are getting points for victory or you are getting points for defeat. So as an example, if you are top three player for victory, you are getting seven points for a top. Uh, whenever you are top 10 player, you are getting five points, right? Uh, so if you can get top 10 easily, you can pretty much guarantee yourself this amount of the points. If you are on defeat, instead of 7 and 5, you are getting 5 and 3. Now the problem is coming if you are not able to get top 10 that easily, then your grind can significantly uh, prolong, if I can say so. This is important thing to say, right? Now... What is the tier you can play with in order to participate um, in the event, right? You need to play tier 6 plus. And keep this in mind, every single tank has a limit, a limit amount of the points. For example, your favorite tank is the tier 6 type 64. As an example, you can grind 100 points with this tank. And after that, you are getting awarded by 15 points as a bonus for you for completing it. But after that, you are not going to receive the points whatsoever. So you will need to change the tank. So my suggestion for most of the players especially if you are valuing your time and you want to deal with this relatively quickly i would highly recommend you to deal with the tier sixes especially because tier six is kind of stress-free in my opinion uh, and i think it is relatively easy to play comparing to the tier 10 as an example and now if you would do the maths um by com by playing, let's say you are playing with one tier 10 vehicle, right? Whenever you are getting 700 battle pass points, you are getting awarded by 35 uh, points overall for congratulations. You have maxed the tank out. If you would play with a tier 6 and you would play with a 7 tier uh, uh, sixes, right? In total, you would get so much more additional points. Does it make sense what I am saying? So... It is very, very important. So focus on the lower tiers, especially if you are not feeling that great playing higher tiers overall. Now, one more thing. Daily missions. Daily missions is going to be must do, in my humble opinion. Why so? Because uh, those missions are going to give you battle pass points or marathon points, however you would call them. And in total, you are getting... Um, 25, 45, uh, 25, 70 points in total, right, for completing the daily missions. And if you will play an hour or let's say two daily, you should be able to get this uh, done relatively easily. Well, unless you need to win five games, then it can take a bit longer. Yeah, I hear what you are saying. Skill, I had 20% win ratio today. I feel you. I've been there as well. I lost tens of games in a row. There is nothing what we can do about this it is important thing to say so once again let's do the quick maths how the things are looking like um and um how long or how many games you will need to pay, play over those uh, days whenever marathon is running. So in total, you will need to get 2,500 points. Now, if you are, can play every single day and you are completing daily missions, right? That's fair. You are getting roughly 1,000 points, right? That's what you are getting, hip hip hooray. So you are left with 1,500 points to achieve, right? So... You need to plan your time in a way so you can get those points in those 14 days, right? But you need to play daily at least for a bit to complete those uh, uh, those daily missions. It is very important thing to say. And let's say on average, if we are talking about the average player, you will get approximately, let's say, four points. Sometimes you won't be, um, sometimes you won't be a top ten and whatnot. Sometimes you will be top three, so you will get more points. Let's say in total you are getting four points uh, per game, right? So you will need approximately 375 games in total. And while marathon is going, I'm speaking from experience, games are relatively quick. So keep this in mind, especially with a lower tier, right? It is important thing to say. And if World of Tanks is roughly, let's say average game is Five minutes. Okay, let's do six minutes, right? Average World of Tanks game. 
So how the things are looking like this grind is going to take 37 and a half hours, roughly. Uh, plus minus, right? And this is for average player. If you are more experienced, I believe it is going to take more. Uh, if you are less experienced, uh, wait a second. If you are more experienced, it is going to take less. And if you are less experienced, it will take more. Whew, fixed, fellas, fixed. So this is what I want to talk about. This is what I wanted to highlight for you. And I hope I made your life just a bit easier to understand this stuff. Also, uh, for the end, I really want to show you how this vehicle is looking like overall and how this uh, skin is looking on this vehicle, right? So it is pretty beautiful to be fair with you. And uh, very important thing to highlight for gaming, you don't need to create a bloody vaza in the game in order to attract uh, uh, players to, to be part of something, of something bigger. Sometimes it's more than enough to take their older uh, tank to give it a nice 3D skin and uh, call it a marathon. That's all I want to say for you today, fellas. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope I answered into your questions and I told you approximately how much time it will take and whatnot. So thank you very much for watching. Skill is out for today. Peace.